Welcome to How to Access Your WRDSB School Library Online. Step 1. Log into the library website with your PALS login. If you do not have this information, you can get it from your teacher. Your PALS login is a combination of your first name, your last name, and your student number. So I find the Logins button, type in my PALS and my password, and now I'm ready to search for thousands of books, videos, and other educational resources. Here I am into my account. I'm going to search for a book. Today I'm going to look for Matilda. I want to make sure that I click ebooks so I know for sure that it's available online. Refresh so that it only shows me ebooks. And there I see Matilda. I'm going to scroll down to see if there's anything else related, just in case I'm curious. I'm going to click on connect to resource, and this is going to take me to Overdrive, a different website where I read all of the online books. There's my borrow button, but first I want to show you that you can access Overdrive directly from the Library Learning Commons website as well by scrolling down from the home page. Where you could also log in separately using your PALS account. But I'm already logged in. I'm going to press borrow. <gasps> I've already got two books taken out, so I better return those so that I can take this book as I can only take out two online books. Be sure to return all of your online books so that other people can still read them. So now my cart is empty and I can go back and find Matilda so that I can borrow it and get reading. So now I'm all ready to go. Miltilda is in my checkout bin. Over here tells me how many books I currently have out on hold, on my wish list. There's all sorts of things you can do to make sure you get the books you want. And then I can read it directly on the screen right now. To flip the page, I just click on the screen and it turns the page for me, just like the real book. If you haven't read Matilda, I highly recommend it. So when I'm done reading for now, all I have to do is close that window and Matilda stays in my cart so I can continue where I left off next time. I'm going to return it for now so I don't forget because I've read Matilda. I'll get other books later. So I'm going to sign out of Overdrive and that's where you would sign back in with your pals. There are so many more things on the Library Learning Commons. BookFlix is fabulous for visuals and learning. The Dot is a very popular book at my school. We'll take a look at it. You can do all sorts of different activities with each book on BookFlix. You can listen to somebody read the book. You can read along with it yourself. There are also great games to play along with the book, such as Word Match, to extend the learning.
close that and now we're going to look at some tumble books. Tumble books is fabulous because it has so many different genres including graphic novels which I know are a favorite at my school. Geronimo Stilton of course, very popular. And it's so easy. You just click on the read online button and there's the book. For tumble books for the graphic novels you scroll down and then press the arrow key to get to the next set of pages. You can also access the groups of pages through this menu as well as the chapters. Another great feature on tumble books is read-alongs. Tons of books to choose from. You can read the book yourself or you can have it read to you. And of course the learning does not end there. There are puzzles and games to correspond with books. These are great for early readers. This game is using pictures with a sentence as the picture gives them the cue to help them read the sentence and figure out which one it goes with. So we'll just close that off and briefly show you the capstone library. This is something you might want to explore Again, all sorts of read-alongs, lots of educational books, nonfiction, and these are reading out loud, if you prefer. We'll close that off and just show you the International Children's Library. Lots and lots of content there as well. So much to explore on a rainy day or any day right now. TVO Kids, fabulous videos. Make sure you find the TVO Kids link at the top. Pick the age that you prefer or need. There's so much content on TVO Kids. Lots of it's fun, but almost all of it's educational and fantastic. There's videos and games, all sorts of things. In the videos section, your child could watch some of their favorite TVO Kids shows like Arthur which is also a favorite book at my library or you could get into the learn from home section of the TVO Kids website which has awesome resources for uh, practical lessons Some different games that they might not have seen before. And so much of it is educational while playing a game. It's a win-win. So I'm going to close the TBO Kids. There, there are all sorts of other online um, databases and encyclopedias and great resources for the older kids for researching. I didn't want to miss Learn 360. This goes all the way from K to 12. It's got 
lessons, audio, printables, games and activities, maps and flags, STEM activities. So much content on Learn360, you really need to check it out. And of course, videos are a fabulous way to solidify what they've learned with visuals. So as you can see, there's a world of videos and books and information on our Library Learning Commons website, and I encourage you to explore and enjoy and keep on reading.